hey girl hey so i'm gonna start off this tutorial tutorial <laughs> i'm gonna start off this tutorial by putting on some foundation i'm using the maybelline fit me in both the dewy and smooth and the matte and poreless They're both in the shade porcelain but for some reason the dewy and smooth is way darker than the matte and poreless not sure why but since i am so dry i do have to mix the two together so it's not all dry and crazy looking i'm just blending this in using an urban decay foundation brush misted with a little bit of fix plus moving on to brows i'm just brushing out my brows here and i'm gonna go into the mavita Loca palette by Kat Von D into the color black metal. I'm then going to start filling in the outer portion of my brow. This is going to be a darker, witchier type of look. So I'm going for a really dark, dramatic brow here. I'm just going to fill in the outer portion almost completely with that black eyeshadow. And then as I go in towards the center of my face, I'm going to kind of fade it out by drawing a line that kind of connects to the lower portion of the brow, if that makes sense. So I just, I already created a line there. And then I'm going to go in and just drag that shadow up into the brow but i'm not adding any more product when i'm dragging it on the inner corner so basically just to avoid having a big black rectangle on your face you just want to make sure you are fading the shadow as you go in towards the center of the face if that makes sense at all girls then to clean up any mistakes I may have made or if I had gone outside the lines, I'm going to take this NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Light and I'm going to outline my brows basically and then go in with a flat brush. This one is by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to blend out that concealer basically that I just put down with the NYX Wonder Pencil and correct any imperfections and create a nice crisp line for a nice shaped brow. Next, I'm going to use Max Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15 to prime my lids. I'm just putting this all over my lid and then blending it out and using that same foundation brush I used earlier by Urban Decay. Next, I'm going to go into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette into this lightest shade, and I'm going to set my concealer that I just put on so it will make it much easier to blend out shadows later. Then I'm going into the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly, which is my favorite, or Chantilly, or whatever. I just never say it right, I don't feel like. But anyways, I'm just highlighting the center part of my face and underneath my eyes, and I'm going to blend it out using that same Urban Decay brush. Going back into that Kat Von D Shade and Light palette into that lightest shade, I'm going to set my under eye area using this Sigma, I believe this is an F35 brush. And moving on to the fun part, I'm going into this shade Noble in this Kat Von D Mavita Loca palette, and I'm using a Sigma E40 brush to blend this into my crease area. And I'm making sure this is nice and blended out because this is going to be our transition shade. Since we're doing a smoky eye, we want to make sure our transition shade is nice and blended because it's going to make our light so much easier later when we have to blend out those darker shades. Next, I'm going into two shades. I'm going to be using Rewind and Harpsichord kind of mixed together on a Sigma E25 brush. I'm mainly using this brush to apply the color into my crease area since it is pretty small, like the shape of the brush really gets into that crease really well. Then I'm going to go in with my Sigma E40 brush, which is basically just a fluffier type of brush and blend out that color that we placed in the crease using the Sigma E25. And I'm just making sure this is nice and blended out, no harsh lines, all that good stuff. I'm then going to use this Sigma gel liner in the shade Wicked. It's just a black gel liner, and I'm placing this on my lid using a flatter, denser brush. This one is from Sephora, I believe, and I'm just packing this on my lid. This is going to be our primer and the start to our smoky eye. And I'm basically just placing this on the lid and just up to like basically touching the crease area. I'm not going past the crease. I'm just going up to the crease and just basically touching it, like kissing it. Like the brush is kissing the crease, basically. We just got romantic up in here. Okay, so once we have our base down, we're gonna go back into the shade Black Metal and we're gonna set this black primer, basically, or the black gel liner. And then I'm just using a brush. This came in an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm just using this to pack on that black shadow anywhere that you put your black gel liner. The other end of this brush is a smaller detailing kind of pencil type of brush. And I'm using this basically just to blend out those harsh lines and the edges of that eyeliner. I am using a little bit of black metal to help me out there. And I'm just applying that right along the edge, not going too crazy with that. Just beginning the process of softening that line. Then going back into that reddish shade called Rewind, we're going to place this into the crease area and overlap it a little bit onto the black area where we had put that gel liner and continue to blend out any harsh lines there. This may take some time, but just continue to blend. I'm really not applying a ton of pressure here. I am just gently blending this out, taking my time, 
I'm not going in any really large kind of movements because I don't want to drag this too far out. I'm not trying to blow this out all the way up to my brow or get too crazy there. I'm just trying to keep this nice and contained. So it does require a little bit of time with this, but it is worth it in the end, I promise. Once I start noticing that it's really starting to get blended out and the shadow is starting to leave the brush, I will go ahead and continue to kind of blend it a little bit further up and just softening that look and just letting it kind of taper off. But I don't add any more color to the brush when I'm letting that kind of taper off at the end. To highlight my brow bone, I'm gonna go into the shade Lyric on a Sigma E55 brush, and I'm just going to do exactly that. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone, and then I'm gonna go in with a Sigma E25 brush, and I'm gonna make sure everything is nice and blended out and kind of has that nice little tapered, faded effect. Here I'm just lining my waterline using a black eyeliner pencil. This one is by Smashbox, but feel free to use your favorite black eyeliner. Going back into that rewind and harpsichord combo we used earlier, I'm using that same pencil brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm really just applying this onto my lower lash line and making sure I get the pigment placed exactly where I want it before I blend it out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my Sigma E25 brush, and I'm just going back and forth here and really blowing this out. If you've watched my channel before, you know how much I love to blow out my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go in with that same pencil brush that we were using before and dip it into the black metal shade and just start to kind of smoke this out. Just make sure when you're doing this that you're also continuing the lower lash line up into that outer corner area because you don't want any bare spots there. I know I'm crazy, but I just didn't feel like the bottom lash line was smoky enough for me. So I added a little bit more of that Smashbox liner onto the outer portion of the lower lash line and just continued to blend it out using that same pencil brush. To highlight the inner corner of my eye, I'm going into the shade Skulls, which is just a white shimmery shade, and I'm using a dome shape brush to just tap this onto the inner corner of the eye. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Miss Manga Lash in the Rock Lash. This is basically just gonna give me some spidery action type of lashes. You really can't see your lashes, so you can apply falsies or you could just rock your own lashes like I'm doing here. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm using Maybelline's Lash Discovery. For blush, I'm so predictable. I use the same blush literally every day of my life because I'm so obsessed. This is the Sigma Serene Blush. Basically, it's just a mauve colored blush and I'm just obsessed with it because I feel like it goes with literally every single look. To highlight my cheekbones I'm gonna be using this hard candy trio and I'm just gonna be using the highlighter shade in this trio and I'm using my Sigma f35 brush to apply this to my cheekbone area on the lips I'm gonna start by using the NYX lip pencil in the shade nutmeg I'm just going to line my lips here and prepare to apply liquid lipstick the liquid lipstick I'll be using is from LA Splash's new metallic liquid lipstick line without going on for 10 hours about it it's basically just a brownish red tone with like a metallic bluish grayish. I don't know, but it is absolute perfection. I have never seen a lip color like this in my life. I'm obsessed. So anyways, this is what I'm applying and this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up. Also, if you want, you can leave me a comment in the comments box because you know I love talking to you girls. Anyways, I hope you guys had an awesome Halloween. Happy November and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.